Well, it's Cybersecurity Month, so we need to touch on the subject. Does your buyer even care about your security tools? The short answer is no, they don't. Let's put this into context. One of my favorite baseball movies is Major League. I've quoted it a few times here on Sales Pitch. The setup is Indians general manager, Charlie Dunneman, is on the phone with Lou Brown, who's the manager of the Toledo Mud Hens, a minor league team. And his off-season job is at Tire World. So Charlie calls Lou to offer him a job to be a major league coach. Lou Brown picks up the phone and goes, oh, I don't know. And then Donovan goes, what do you mean you don't know? This is a chance to manage in the major leagues, in the big leagues. And Brown's like, hey, let me think it over, will you, Charlie? I've got a guy on the other line about some white walls. I'll talk to you later. Why is this the best? It's such a great blow off. The guy with the white walls is more important. How does this apply to cybersecurity solutions? We're selling them. We know what the tools can do to help our clients or the prospect or our buyer, the results it can produce for them. Well, what if the person we're speaking to, they never had a cyber incident? Usually we get caught in a commodity trap and we're talking about the solutions and the features and the benefits, and we haven't even found out why they would care. Here's a tip. The buyer does not care about your solutions, but they are looking to solve their problems and to minimize risk, reduce risk. So what do we need to do first, right? Today, we're going to touch all the bases on the things you could do to determine what they do care about when it comes to cybersecurity. One, how do they make and lose money? They obviously care about that. If you can find out how they generate revenue and the tools that they use to automate their business, which would be impacted by a cyber incident, now you're starting to pluck a nerve, right? We can start beginning having high value discussions. Two, avoid FUD, F-U-D. This stands for fear, uncertainty, and death. This is an old school sales tactic that doesn't work. You can try and sell fear, but you're gonna lose, especially if they have not had a cyber incident. It will also repel the buyer away from you. Three, ease into the questions, meaning don't get overly technical. Ask them if they've ever had cybersecurity insurance and how much they have. Ask them if they've ever had a cyber incident. If they did, what happened and how did it impact their company? Four, create gaps and wedges, meaning paint doubt in their mind. If they have cybersecurity insurance, ask them to describe to you how they fill out their annual cybersecurity form. Then ask them, how does their current provider help them with this? Then finally, put the nail in the coffin and say, describe to me what happens in between those annual questionnaires. Now you can start creating a wedge between them and their current provider. I want to go tip 4.5. Determine how much they want to reduce risk to their business. They have spent a lot of time to grow and build their company. How do they want to protect it? How do they want to protect their reputation? This helps you understand their ideal outcomes and align your solutions accordingly. You need to find out from your buyer, do they care? Ask questions around the results your security solutions provide to see if they would even value it. If you need some more help on this, go into Pax8 Academy and go into the Results Selling Framework Hub. Scroll down to the bottom where there's the Results Selling Framework Podcast. I do two podcasts talking about how to sell cybersecurity. That will help. You need to provide the value. Otherwise, the prospect's just going to blow you off and they're going to go talk to the guy on the other line about a set of white walls. 